Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about your oven cleaning and kind of oven maintenance. There's two really great ways to do it. One is the self-clean that's in your oven, so there's a setting there, usually runs a couple hours and things like that. Does a lot of wear and tear on the oven and you know, you really gotta designate a lot of time to it. Here I'm gonna show you the quick method way that I've been using it in the showrooms and kind of my oven at home that have really uh, gained a lot of popularity. A lot of people are using it really cuts down the time and cuts down the wear and tear on the oven. So without further ado, wall oven behind me, we're gonna get it clean. All right, so let's open it up. And the thing you gotta think about here is, you know, now they're all sealed system, most of these ovens. What I mean by sealed is, you know, they have a hidden bake element on the bottom, whereas you used to be, they were exposed. So you kinda had to clean around that and worry about that and kinda the heat and things like that. But now, you know, there's a nice finish on here. They're easy to clean with you know simple household products you know you could use barkeeper's friend but i use vinegar and baking soda a lot or windex with white vinegar especially on the door because it really cuts down the grease and leaves it streak free whereas you know if we would use the self clean you know a lot of customers forget to take out the racks and things like that which is a must because these glide racks will tarnish they will bend and you know the ball bearings on the glides will melt so you won't really see the proper performance and things like that out of there. So, you know, think about this around holiday time. Everybody wants to clean their ovens around holiday time. And uh, for a Dawn's Appliance employee, that's the worst time because, <laughs> you know, you have a short window, you know, things might go wrong. You might leave these racks in, you know, things, you know, you might set off a sensor or an error, things like that, whereas your oven might be down. And then, you know, with service being a week or so out, you don't want to be without an oven for holiday season. So pay real close attention if you're going to self-clean your oven, you know, before the holidays. Don't do it. Do my method. It's nice. It's easy. It works. And, you know, hopefully servers won't come to your door or we won't have to bring you racks you know, on Christmas Eve. <laughs> so take these racks out, glide them out. So they push all the way out. We'll just pull them towards you and then they slide out on these little teeth, just like this. So put those down. This can get soaked in a laundry tub. You have a big sink, things like that. You could soak it out a little bit, but I'll actually show you a nice quick way that I do it in a minute, but I want to get all of them out of the oven. So <laughs> rack two slides the same way. Extend it all the way out, push and then just give it a little shimmy, okay? Nice and easy peasy. So when we look in here, we just got a little bit of buildup in the back. You know, this is normal, a little bit on the sides too. What I like to do is, so I have a little pot here. I got a little bit of vinegar, equal parts, vinegar, water, and two tablespoons of baking soda. That works really well, all right? These I work too, magic eraser sheets. So I just put a little bit of uh, the magic eraser sheet in there, a little bit of water, and I just get going. Usually this combo works pretty well, as you can see. Look how cool that is. That's the tail of the tape right there. <laughs> so what I like to do is when the oven is obviously nice and cold, we're just gonna wipe this all down. Then we're gonna get a towel in here, towel it off, and I'm really gonna finish it with Windex with white vinegar really on the glass and things like that too. So you're gonna see, gotta turn it on first. But even here, you're gonna see a big difference between before and after. This, I'd like to highlight in cleaning, I talk to customers a lot. Right here, I don't know if you could see it, but there's vents in the door, okay? So there's three panes of glass, it's kind of what keeps this door nice and cool to the touch. So, you know, you don't want to get any liquid in here because it'll drip between the glasses and that's where you'll see streaking, okay? So be very mindful of this. Sometimes you put a piece of painter's tape over it, put a towel over it, or put some paper towel down just to make sure you're not going to get any of the absorption. So I kind of even like to do this, you know, just put that right here, kind of put that in. It'll actually soak up any of the liquid so we don't have to come and fix your door. With that being said, I'll quit talking and start cleaning so you can see the final product. All right, so now we've actually, uh, you know, probably went through about five or seven of these sheets and you can see, you know, the graduation of like, look at the, what it looks like now. You know, we're just gonna keep scrubbing this out. 
but now we hit it with a little bit of that white vinegar Windex. So that'll actually just, you know, kind of eat away all that grime, kind of get that last bit of uh, grease. What you want to do sometimes, maybe spray this, let it sit five to seven, let it soak in, maybe use a brush or something like that. But if you're in the quick mode to really just, you know, get it clean, not let it sit, you kind of want to use it today. I like to let it uh, dry out kind of overnight, if let be, but now, I'm gonna cook on this today. So I'm gonna cook on this you know, in the next hour. So what I'm gonna do is I spray it with vinegar. Normally I'd let it sit like 15, 20 and then wipe it out. Right now I'll just go in with paper towel, wipe it dry, let it sit 15, then wipe it again to see if anything drips. Because in, sometimes in the back, especially with the convection and the fan, everything that you wipe down, sometimes you'll see some dripping come off the very bottom and things like that. So be mindful of that. And other than that, I'm just gonna wipe this down and you're gonna see the results. So let's rock and roll. Let's just talk about the uh, oven rack really quick. Kinda just wanna go over, um, if you don't have time to soak these overnight, still the same method. Let's grab one of these or, you know, a scrubby of your choice. You know, still go with that white vinegar. I'm just doing it over here just to show you guys, but you could do it in the sink as well. But you'll get a little bit of that grease and grime off there. Kind of not that heavy baked on because let's face it, all our dirty trays, things like that will sit on here. And, um, but look at that. It still comes out pretty nice and clean from my angle. But this is a great quick one. Look at that. Just to get them clean. This uh, ideally would soak, but for my quick method, I got no problem doing this one. And this is something you could do, you know, don't think about it just doing it once a year. You could do this once a month to maintain the oven and, you know, the cleanability of the oven. You know, you know when you turn your oven on, you hear that smell and you're like, okay, that was what, you know, I cooked two weeks ago or I cooked three days ago or something like that. So, I mean, this is something that could be, you know, three, four times a year at most too, you know that you could do a quick one and really saved you from running that huge self-clean cycle. This took me in this oven maybe 12 to 15 minutes tops, you know, to kind of get in and out everything. Even for your first timer, it might take you a little bit longer, but I still see great value in this and great result in it. So uh, I'm gonna scrub this just outright, just nice and easy. Look at that. All right, this is pretty much nice and easy. But if I would do the long haul, I would put them in a um, laundry sink or your bigger sink or even your uh, you know, laundry tub back there <laughs> or your uh, tub in the, your spare tub. But I would soak them in vinegar or baking soda and water. Actually, you know, two cups, uh, two cups of vinegar, you know, fill that hot water up and then, you know, four tablespoons of baking soda kind of gets that reaction. Or, you know, some people have su success with dryer sheets. I'm not gonna name any names, but there are a couple people in the company that swear by putting dryer sheets in there, in the water to uh, kind of break it down. So I've tried that, I've seen pictures of that, it works well. So really soak them, you know, let's say overnight. And then we really wanna get a nice brush in here to kind of get in between all the nooks and crannies and crevices, you know through here, you know, if you do this at a great job, it really keeps your oven clean because think about it, these racks are in your oven. When they heat up, they have oil and grease on it. Where is it gonna go? It has nowhere to go but down to your oven floor. So, you know, be very mindful of this. And we didn't talk about it because we're speaking about ovens, but, you know, I'm gonna say, clean the bottom of your pots and pans too and your sheet trays that you put in here because that oil goes on here, which goes on your oven floor. So when you soak these, after you clean these, let these dry really nicely. And then, you know, paper towel is kind of the best friend on here and make sure you get all the liquid out here so you don't put it in here and dirty your nice clean oven, okay? So this is a nice, quick and easy 15 to 20 minute, you know, clean that you can do on your oven, kind of save you from that two to four hour heavy self clean that really works the boards and kind of works your oven up to 700, 800 degrees, you know, emits all that odor into your kitchen. Whereas, you know, now with a nice sealed system like this, you can get in, you know, work your muscles, do some elbow grease and kind of get everything done. So hope this helps you clean your oven and maintain a nice clean uh, work oven so you don't have any odors or any flare ups in it. So 
enjoy this video and thank you.